Hi, it's Kelly here, and this video, I want to say to you, screw writer's block. If you feel like you want to write a book, but it just seems like it's too daunting, or maybe you're writing a book, and, and you're finding that, you know, procrastination is present, which is present for every writer that I know, just about, uh, then you want to, you're going to want to hear this, because we're going to talk about how to get rid of writer's block that is hardwired in your brain and works automatically. All the stuff that I come up with seems to work, be in that, in that way. It's hardwired or it, it works, it just works instantly or effortlessly, whatever. <clears throat> so, and also I'm going to talk to you, maybe in this video, I might make a second video, uh, how to turn a book into one that lasts 25 years, like, like this one over here. Uh, it's been it's been out there what 27 28 years I'm not sure uh, and it's still being ordered and uh, one was ordered today already because um, that's the kind of book you want to write you want to have something that provides you with a source of income and also you you know if you're writing a nonfiction book or or, or a novel you you're writing it because you want to share that something in there that you want to share um, so definitely, this is the you're in the right place. Now, here, it is so simple that a that a ten year old can do it, maybe younger. So when you're writing for the day, go ahead and take the last sentence of what you're writing for that day and erase part of it. That's it. Let me repeat that. You take part of the last sentence that you've written for that day and you erase it. Did you get that? People, this is so, so simple, people, it's going to go like, right? Because naturally we think it's got to be hard. And so when it comes really fast, we don't, we don't get it. So erase the last part of that sentence I was telling you about. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. That last sentence I wrote is golden. I don't want to erase the last sentence because everything I write just about is golden or at least silver, you know. So <clears throat> what do I do? Well, that's easy. You write another sentence. Keep that sentence and erase part of that one. Now, what will happen is, because you've done that, is that your brain will start working on uh, the book. So when you wake up in the morning, you'll be like, that's the first thing you want to do. And if your t writing time isn't until after you get home from work or something like that, you'll be thinking about it and, and anxious to get back to what you want to do. So it won't be a matter of taking a half hour to get everything just right, get your coffee, get this, get that, blah, 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 blah. Get your, get your quiet place, blah, blah, you know, everything, you know, pet the dog. You, you're going to just go, screw all that, <laughs> and you'll, you'll put in, you'll finish the sentence. And most of the time, the sentence won't be the same as the one that you wrote the night before. If it is, that's fine. But the thing is, it gets you going. This book here... It's 350 pages. All right? I wrote the first draft in two months this, using this method. And on, on one occasion, I, I kept writing for 13 hours. I don't know if I even stopped to eat. Um, and then I went back and revised it about 10 times. And there was never any, there was never any uh, you know, pushback as far as me getting back to it, ever. That's how you want to do it. By the way, to give you some of the handicaps or obstacles that I run into in writing is, uh, you know how they say you're supposed to be a good reader in order to be a good writer? Um, in school, I could read about 10 pages at a time from homework, and I wouldn't necessarily remember what I read. Most likely I wouldn't remember most of what I read. Um, when it comes to the keyboard, I don't remember where all the keys are, enough of them, 
that I have to look down and type them with two fingers and I do it slowly. Now, can, you, can you imagine? I, I write a lot every day. And it's still, after all these years, I don't remember, you know, particularly certain letters, the, the X, the C, and quite a few others. And I say I don't even remember what the letters are. I can't recite the alphabet. I don't remember songs. Songs should be easy to remember. So I have all these handicaps in terms of writing, and yet this book is still selling 27 years later, something like that. Most books have their peak and then they kind of drift off and not very many are sold after that. So that's the method you want to use to forget about writer's block. And if you say to yourself, well, gosh, I, I want to write a book, I want to start a book, I don't know what to write. Well, that's easy. The first thing you do is you, you get into your computer and you, and you type down, I don't know what it is I want to write about. But, <laughs> you could write but, and then go to bed. <laughs> right. Go to bed, period. You'll get up the next morning and you'll finish that sentence. Or you, most likely, you'll, you, you might find yourself a good chance you're going to be erasing that sentence because you've decided what it is you want to start with. And you're off to the races. All right? So, uh, what about you say, well, I want to write a book, but, you know, it's something kind of vague, really, when you think about it. I don't have any ideas of what it is. I just have an urge to write a book. And I don't know what it is. Well, that's where this book comes in handy. Is there a question that heals instantly? Is there a question that heals instantly? Because there's a question in there that's hardwired to assist you to instantly, effortlessly, remember I mentioned that, effortlessly, get over whatever's bothering you at the moment. And all of us have things that bother us every moment because in our mind we think things and if they are anything action oriented, either mentally, or we wish we'd said something, or somebody said something, or whatever, our mind is, is going like this way or that way, this way or that way, this way or that way, what do I do? This handles all that, and, and enables you to take the evidence of your negativity and set it aside for a moment so that you can uh, get to a neutral place. And then you, you get discoveries, I'm also an inventor and I got to tell you, this question is, helps with inventions, being inventive, being creative, and mostly allowing myself and others to to um, have insights into what's better for me in life. You know, yesterday, I, what's better for me in life is to praise God while I'm doing the dishes, being thankful that I have food on my plate. That was like, oh, that's an, aware, that's an awareness. And man, it just, I, I cleaned the little thing, you know, the, the, the plug, cleaned that, got a sieve in there, cleaned that, all of that. Did the same thing with the laundry, you know, as far as hanging up my clothes, because that's the way I dry them, I hang them up. And uh, I was grateful for having clean clothes. And I was praising God for allowing me to have clean clothes. So it's great. So it works. Now, what about writing a book? And how do you make a book really, really fantastic? Well, for that one, I want you to tune in to the next video. Uh, this is going to be episode four, I believe, and it, the next one should be five. Will you take care, and God bless.